We're back with eye-opening new findings about a shift in puberty among girls. A report published in JAMA yesterday shows a growing number of girls are now experiencing their first period before the average age of 12. It's especially true among children of color. Research shows that black girls are more than twice as likely as white girls to start their puberty early. Doctors warn the results could be devastating. NBC News medical contributor Dr. Kavita Patel joins us on this now. Dr. Patel, always great to have you. So just tell us about the results of this study and what it tells us about why girls are starting their menstrual cycles earlier and why, as Joe mentioned, black girls are twice as likely to have this happen. Yeah, Savannah Joe, this was important. It also compounds research that we've had for decades that have been showing this disturbing trend in an earlier onset of periods in girls. This was a study done over four years, self-reported on a mobile app, over 71,000 females who were born in the last five decades. So it got to look at a pretty large span of time, and it showed exactly what you're alluding to, that as you were born later, meaning as girls are born more recently, the average age of onset of puberty is much earlier and their first periods are coming on at an early age, before the age of 12, on average at 11.9 years. And there was also irregularity, Savannah, between the onset of their period and when their cycles got regular. So it's just giving us a peek into something about the hormonal kind of patterns of younger girls. And to your point, not just black people, but also people of Asian American descent and of Latino and Hispanic descent and other racial and ethnic categories or higher likelihood to have this earlier onset. And there are several reasons why, and so we'll have to kind of probe into that with more research, some association with diet, some association with environment, but probably a lot more questions than answers about exactly why it's happening. Dr. Patel, let's talk about some of the health risks associated with girls starting their cycles yeah. earlier, including how it affects girls later in life. Yeah, so it's a great point. So a couple of things that I think researchers and doctors are taking note of is that there is potentially a higher risk of cancers, including breast cancer. There are also higher associations with coronary artery disease, and there have been higher kind of higher prevalence of mental health disorders and other associated mental health conditions when you have an earlier onset of puberty. Here's the problem though, Joe, we don't have enough research that we've done in just menstrual research period to even know like, well, what is it that we can do to modify these risk factors? That's what we like to understand when we see these disturbing trends, but we need to understand what can I do today? And that's gonna require some education as, as well as more research. What should parents know before talking to a doctor yeah. about this? What kind of support do these girls need. Savannah, I'm, I'm in this exact category right now. My daughter is seven, and what we're recommending is that parents start educating and spreading awareness as early as the ages of six, seven, or eight, because wow. we can see girls with an onset of puberty around the age of nine or 10. That showed up in this study most recently. So it's education as parents. Also having these conversations with your pediatrician so that you normalize body process, normalize body parts, normalize these words. And then I would just, I'm gonna do this today. I'm taking a hard look look at my child's diet. Oftentimes we see like high sugar, high processed foods. We've talked about that. And we want to make sure that we're making healthy swaps so that we can have a better diet overall. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.